Could you wave and make some noise? Good morning! Hey, not for me, just for the camera. <laughs> How is everybody? Great! Hi. Hi. Wonderful, awake. So, my name is Sister Barbichka. There is a bar, here is a bitch. <laughs> Barbichka, it's very easy. Is anybody here who does not speak English? Everyone. <laughs> Neither do I. Okay. <laughs> no, if, if I know that somebody does not speak English, I will um, also tell in German. But <coughs> as everybody speaks English, I'll stick to English. One more to say about this street. I did have sex once in that building, but... <laughs> Back when I was 25. Okay, we're approaching Meringdam. Meringdam is the uh, cellar of the of West Berlin Kreuzberg and uh, there is some famous gay establishments there. There is a boiler sauna, gay sauna, which is uh, if you turn left here. And uh, there is also some gay bars on this street. There is uh, my favorite uh, Rauschgold, uh, which is coming up on the right. I had to fly in all the goods for over a year. They had to fly in coals to heat the houses. They had to fly in everything you needed for life. Food and whatever you can think of. So there was um, planes landing every few seconds. They flew in three layers from West Berlin. They had three air, air corridors uh, leading into the city. Okay. There is the memorial to the Berlin airlift the, the party, this on the, the left the side now. The Berliners nickname a lot of their monuments. So this is called the Hunger Claw. And uh, just on our right side, that's hangar number two. It is a huge, huge, huge space and it's uh, an event venue now too. You can rent that if you're having a little party there. Uh, one of the oldest parts of the Berlin subway system. And uh, funny to say subway because it's raised, but that's how they started um, over a hundred years ago. This river was the border between East and West Berlin at this point here. So we're going over from the West to the East now. And there was a wall, the Berlin Wall, that you can see in fragments on our left. And that's still the longest part that is still there. It's called the East Side Gallery. And we're gonna go run along that now. And uh, there is also in those, um, in the basement of the subway, um, there is uh, clubs, there is Club Matrix, where we used to hold the German Mr. Leather. It was called the anti-fascist wall in the, in the East, uh, attempted revolution of 1953. On June 17th, 1953, the workers of the German Democratic Republic, the eastern part of Germany, went on a strike and demonstrations against the um, government and uh, the also the Soviet administration that was uh, still in rule here. You can see a cross. So every time the sun comes out, they have a display of a cross on the ball of their prestigious object. <laughs> so when it grew together, they called it just Berlin. We're passing Berlin Castle, that's a city palace. It was the, this is the historic part of Berlin. This is the uh, Royal Palace. So after the reunification, that was torn down and they, um, re-erected the um, city palace now. It is holds two museums and and back there on the left side you see a building with the part of a historic facade that because from that balcony Scheidemann declared the Socialist Republic. 
so they kept this in their government building. And we're on Unter den Linden now, one of the main boulevards. Um, we're passing Bebelplatz, where the people are in the middle. There is a memorial for the burned books, the Nazis burned the books. Um, and that happened right there. There is a memorial underneath. There's also St. Hedwig's Cathedral, the dome back there. That's the uh, Catholic Bishop's Cathedral. And on the left and the right of the street is Humboldt University. Yeah. dome. There used to be another dome on top um, of the Wilhelminian era and it was burned. You heard about the Reichstagsbrand maybe? So the Nazis uh, lit the parliament and uh, it collapsed and uh, after the reunification when the gov German government was moved back to Berlin they um, refurbished the whole building, uh, renovated it, and, and I believe it's the only parliament in the world that you can climb on top of. You have to get a ticket and um, apply for a ticket with your passport data and everything, and then you can enter the German parliament and climb on top of that um, dome, which is very nice, and you have a very beautiful view. There's also a restaurant up there. It's a Victory Angel. It is like five million stairs, and there is no elevator, but it is worth climbing it. And then if you get the chance to go there, just see the reliefs uh, in the side. And it's on the other side, and if you see the soldiers, think of the many gay soldiers that have lost their lives. This is Breitscheidplatz and the Memorial Church, the Emperor William Memorial Church. And, of course, this has a nickname, too. It's called the Hollow Tooth. <laughs> to all the catastrophic uh, things that happened in the 30s and 40s. Um, read about it. It's worth it. And it tells us a lot also for the future. I mean, there is these nationalistic and fascist uh, regimes emerging. And maybe we should think about the past and... Uh, it has, it should teach us a lot. Okay, so this is the uh, International Aid Memorial of Berlin.